Hey everyone, yeah. welcome to Press Start. It's us, the Press Start crew, and we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about Resident Evil Village to the best of our abilities. There will be no tit unturned, no rump un humped. Ooh! Welcome to Press Start. <laughs> So, there was an event. They shared a bunch of new details about Resident Evil 8 Village. I still hate the name, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's so stupid. Like, I get it. They wanted to do the V-I-I-L, -L. like they wanted to try that. I think it, it's stupid. I guess that I makes you the village idiot, Luke. I get it. Dumbass. Hey. Anyways, Resident <laughs> Evil looks really, really cool. And I like guns and also monsters and ghouls of all sorts. And they had a showcase for all those ghouls, monsters, ghosts, and goblins of all sorts. And today we're, we're going to talk about it. Cammy, okay, what's the first thing that we learned from the Resident Evil showcase? Uh, the, the vampire lady still has big tits. It's okay. The, the, yeah. they've, they've kept it. The yeah. breast I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we saw a new trailer. We heard about uh, more info on the demo and the extra game mode called Mercenaries. <gasps> I think the main takeaway was the trailer, right? Yeah, yeah. Gaming companies can try all they want to show us new things and different things at the end of the day. We just want to see the goddamn game you're working on. And if it looks cool, if well, it looks it's cool, funny. we'll probably play it. Capcom's always done this thing where they have like a, a secondary game mode or like a multiplayer that's free to play, but sucks completely. Like what was the multiplayer mode they made for Resident Evil? I think it was three remake. Did you guys try oh, that? Oh, that's right. I never it tried it. So it was so bad. Stupid. It was so bad. And I tried in my video about the remake when I was like, this thing is horrible. I talked about it because I tried. I tried to test it and you couldn't find matches. And if you did, it was so horrible that most people would drop after trying it for 30 seconds because it was always their first time. There was no repeat players in that mode. It was just terrible. So I don't know why they keep trying to find something that works as far as multiplayer is concerned and like these spin-off versions of the same game. I think it's just a waste of time, but they keep doing it. So there must be something lucrative about it. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, I, I, you mean, uh, if you see it as lucrative, that doesn't we quite do work, that. but, uh, <laughs> we were gonna do I don't know. That. You know what? They're trying something new, uh, and I'll take that. I'd rather have a hundred new, no, you know what? I would have one old thing that's really, really good than a hundred new things that suck. So, uh, Capcom, good job. Disappointed okay. all of us. Disappointed. Great job. Wonderful. Way to go. Way Love to it. go. Great oh. job. Oh, I'm throbbing, so Capcom. <laughs> We've seen a lot of other stuff uh, as well since this trailer dropped and they went through all of the other information. So, of course, more Lady Dimitrescu. Big boobies. Uh, big boobies. Miss, big Miss, boobies. Tall, Miss Tall Big Boobies. Uh, big there's boobies. some blood sucking, which I, I'll be honest, that bit felt a little weird like it seemed like they were playing into some sort of they were, you know, they were playing I'm, to the audience they were they were they know what they're doing they, they know, know what they're what doing they're Ooh, doing. i'm gonna suck your yeah. blood Ooh. 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 what i lack in a normal name i make up for in sucking <laughs> <laughs> uh we got a better look at the village which is the titular topic of the game. Uh, clearly, not many people are left there. It works for a game like this, especially the RE engine doesn't do well with a lot of characters on screen at one time. Works really well with environments. So it makes sense that the village is pretty empty and you're only gonna be encountering a few characters at a time. It works, you know? I, so I'm not surprised to see that, but it's there. We also got to look at some go some go some monsters. Ghosty ghoulies, too. Ghost goblins, it monsters, creatures. Oh, man. They look cool. 
They do. I had nothing. I like Resident Evil monsters. Uh, we'll see how they are applied. And right. if it makes Apply. it scary. <laughs> You know, there's, yeah, it's really, it's not that scary to have a monster in a, in, you know, just like in a painting. Capcom. That's not a thing they've ever done, but I'm just, I'm anticipating. Know. There are eight games, think... in, there are nine games La in or whatever. Layers of Fear was the literal version of that because it was about a painter. And uh, so you're, you're confused. I will say, so Resident Evil, this is more like broad topics on, uh, on Resident Evil as a whole. And it's something I think they're addressing with village which is going to be interesting because one of the the staples of most horror games is that you don't have the ability to fight back right it's you're completely helpless you're out there stranded um if you look at something like outlast you literally can't fight back you have a camera and just running around that's it in a lot of other horror games like layers of fear there's no way of fighting back it's just you're doing your thing some games like the medium there's some gameplay elements but you're not fighting anything you're running away you are the helpless one resident evil has pretty much always been the franchise in the horror like horror sphere that allows you to fight back which is weird because i think most people assume if you can fight back it's less scary you know you're not in danger as much but and sometimes, you know, it can start to drift into the point where it feels like an action game and less of a horror game. Because when you're fighting back at something, a lot of the time you don't feel as threatened as if you are just totally helpless to it. So it's a fine line to walk. And in the stuff I've seen for Resident Evil Village, it seems like they're leaning a lot more into this sort of helpless um, side of gameplay where you really don't stand a chance. And maybe that's just how it's been framed in the trailers and the selections that they've chosen to show us. But so far it's interesting because I think it represents sort of a, a gameplay shift compared to what they've done before. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, the next demo is, the first demo was just on PlayStation. This time it's on PS5 and 4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Steam and Stadia. Woo! Yeah, I'll uh, actually play it this time too. Nice. It's you get one hour uh, to explore the village and or the castle, so you can choose. Uh, spend, hmm. you know, if you want to do half and half or all your time in the castle, all the time in the village, it's totally up to you. Uh, North America from 5 p.m. on May the first for 24 hours. Europe is 2 a.m. May second for 24 hours. Asia is. 8 a.m. May 2nd for 24 hours. But and then, yeah. if you have a PlayStation, you can get early access. <gasps> uh, it's called 8 Hours in Village, because get it, Resident Evil 8, 8 hours. Yeah. Uh, Again, what is it with the puns? They care so much <laughs> about the puns. There's something about that. I don't know what Cap Capcom's running out of ideas for games. They're like, all right, we're on the ninth to one. What can we do now? Let's make it Puns? hilarious, yeah. <laughs> you know what? They can make another Phoenix Wright game. That's what they can do. <laughs> they could, yeah. I fucking love those games. Anyway, uh, there's a village demo where you get to spend 30 minutes in the village. Uh, North America starts 5pm April 17th. Europe starts 7pm April 18th. Asia starts 5pm April 18th. The castle demo... 30 minutes again, North America, April 24th, 5 p.m. Europe, April 25th, 7 p.m. Asia, April 25th, 5 p.m. You're allowed to stream it. Okay. And uh, if you have PlayStation and you're interested in the demo, you can preload it now. I mean, I, I will say, you gotta give them credit. Demos aren't really a thing anymore. And the fact that Capcom still does it, that's a big deal. That's awesome. And we should applaud them for it. Like Capcom had the, uh, they had all these demos. They had, yeah, Animal Crossing <laughs> clap. They had these demos. They had one for Monster Hunter uh, Rising. You know, they've really tried to give people as much of a chance to know what they're buying and getting into. And I love it. I'm, I'm really glad to see it. So props to Capcom. Thank you, Capcom. Thanks, Capcom. Thank you, Capcom. Thank you, Capcom. Now, this extra game mode, let's get down to brass tacks because this sounds kind of dumb, but it's going to be here, so we might as well discuss it. 
mercenaries. This is the extra game mode they kind of talked about um, a little bit during the presentation. Basically, it's an arcade style mini game, just like other ones that they've had in the series up to this point. They've added a shop between areas. You can customize loadouts for different strats. Um, you can add different abilities to increase damage, speed, stronger guards, things like that. There's some additional challenge modes and rewards and things. Like, I don't know who this appeals to. I've tried the like mini games that they put in these games before. It's just never connected with me. I think they feel cheap and stupid, but clearly they keep doing them. So somebody really likes them. There's got to be people out there that love this. It has to be that Dead by Daylight crowd. The people that like those multiplayer kind of horror games or even like the Left 4 Dead type people. More Dead by Daylight these days because I've, I've given that game a good few tries. I mm -hmm. think it's fine. I think that it's uh, not a particularly like incredible game, but with a group of friends, it's good fun. But I think it's them trying to, because they also, aren't they doing a partnership with Dead by Daylight also? Yeah, I thought mm -hmm. I thought you Maybe were doing so. a segue then. It can be a segue. I, I like Dead by Daylight to an extent, so maybe they're trying to like tap into that a little bit, because Dead yeah, by Daylight I mean, makes bank. And Dead by Daylight has like loads of horror stuff in it anyway, so oh, it's like got different Stranger horror things. franchises. It's got like, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, the Moose so it makes Man. Sense. Oh, that's an uh, that's an American thing. So in Minnesota. Uh, at, at from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m., the legend goes. No, 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 it's a, it's a, it's an old legend from Minnesota, at Saint Cloud, oh. Minnesota, actually. So oh, let's hear it. This man was in his cabin, and it was 3 a.m. and his fire stopped burning, and the blizzard. Oh, the blizzard was cold that night, and he oh. needed to go out and get some more <laughs> firewood because lo, he had run out. So he stepped out into the woods and began chopping at a tree, a large pine tree. Maybe it would burn with extra smoke, but it would at least keep him warm in the winters to come and the night of the blizzard. What a blizzard it was, too. But as he was chopping down the tree with his trusty axe, he heard a sound out in the distance. A uh, He turned back to see it, and there was a large 14-foot creature with the head of a moose and the body of Shaquille O'Neal. And it began charging down upon him, saying, Ooh, cold out, ain't it? And then he had to run back inside, and that's the legend of the Moose Man. I believed you for way longer than I cared to admit. <laughs> I'm surprised when he was like, "Oh, the blizzard was." And I, was like, <laughs> I was thinking, "This sounds oh. like a bit," but you are American, and you do believe stupid that, uh, shit. So at the true. same time, <laughs> the head of a moose on the body. <laughs> that was the moment that clinched it. I was like. Ah, you're stupid. <laughs> I'm oh. not sure you're that stupid. We need to do that now. We need to make oh stickers goodness. and shirts. <laughs> moose the man. moose man. <laughs> oh, the moose man. Buy your moose man shirts right here. Oh. It won't be a link, but uh, it'll be a. Quick if people drawing. actually want the moose man, I will make. Of course, they're stickers. gonna want the moose man. I will make stickers. It won't make yeah. any sense to anybody except oh, the handful cool of people that have people. seen this video. But for them. Moose Man. The Moose Man. And Dead by Daylight, of course. That's where that story came from. It's a it's a it's a fun game. We should play that together sometime. Uh, I'm sure I like Dead by Daylight. It, it's good fun. Uh but it yeah, is. maybe that's 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 the only thing I can think of. That's the biggest horror multiplayer thing there is right now, by far. Uh and even though it has its issues, that's probably what Resident Evil's trying to tap into a little bit. Even though they're making a partnership, maybe that's them like secretly sending someone in to be like, Alright, what are they doing right? Oh, they're making a playable video game. Damn it, we can't do that with our multiplayer. Just add leveling systems that are too complicated and bad matchmaking. So we'll see. Problem solved. Problem solved, <laughs> we did it. Problem solved. Okay. Anyway, going back to everything <laughs> that we had been discussing. Um, yes, there was a Dead by Daylight crossover with Resident Evil. And uh, they did say that they will have Resident Evil 4 in VR uh, for Oculus coming as well which i think is awesome have they said anything about vr for resident evil 8 village i Not don't think knowledge. they have it's probably coming. i saw there was one section of the trailer where the big guy not the woman the big guy 
he like swings a hammer or an axe or something around and it swoops right in front of the camera very clearly and deliberately. And when I saw that, I was like, that looks just like the thing they did in the Resident Evil 7 trailer with like the knife when she comes at you and it goes through your hand and it's like right there in your face. That is like perfect for VR. So when I saw them do that, I was like, ooh, I think they've got some, like, cause if you're gonna do VR, you gotta have some things like that where when the ax swings in front of your face, you duck back and it's like, oh, that was cool. That was immersive. I haven't heard them announce anything yet though. But little things like that that I've spotted in the trailers and different cutscenes that they've done makes me think they're gonna do it. It's all just rumors at the minute, nothing confirmed. I would guess it's because there's been no announcement as of yet with regards to PlayStation VR 2 or whatever they end up yeah. calling it. We got those when new they announced that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah they did show off controllers. Um, but my guess would be once that's confirmed and once they bring that out, we'll see like Resident Evil 8 Village being one of the first games that's ported over to that. Um, that's my official prediction. Take it or leave it. I've got a counter prediction. Oh. They're waiting okay. until people play through the game uh, and then realize that there's a sex scene with Miss Tall Lady. And right as that happens, they're going to announce PS5 VR. They're like, it's always been ready, but we're waiting for this moment because the hype will be so up there that it's like, it, it'll have a little flash on screen. Like, you need PS VR to see this scene. You will sell It'll out. Just be Sony. black bars. Yeah, <laughs> you will <laughs> sell out, Sony. I'm not kidding. Every PSVR will make you billions. Microsoft will kneel to your will if you do that. I mean, it's Microsoft like, will be like, Trey. It could be. Trey. It's Capcom. You never know. <laughs> How, can you imagine the internet would explode? That would be awesome. How great! What a great life. <laughs> What a great, what a great, what a great time we live in. What a phenomenal industry. <laughs> what a great industry. Anyway, long story short, I'm I'm pretty excited for Village. I'm mostly just excited to get more games. Like right now, there's just been a bit of a lull. Studios are trying to recover from COVID and they're trying to get stuff ready for next gen. So we're in this, this low zone right now. I'm ready for the next uh, wave of games to come out. I think this fall is going to be amazing. I think the summer is going to be great. And I think this is the first step to it. So I'm excited. It's going to be a very Resident Evil Christmas, everybody. So don your apparel and uh, let's get cooking. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, everybody. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. It's too late. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. <laughs> These salutes. <laughs> America, America, <laughs> God is here to hello for all the ones you traveled from to where and also home. America, America, from there, she's not Cammy. England is that we're here and also it's America yippee God bless the USA The moon's See fake you in the next video ah! <laughs>